Glyphosate herbicides are the most widely used herbicides in Arkansas, and the presence of glyphosate-resistant weeds has been one of the greatest challenges in weed management. Herbicide resistance in weeds isn't new in Arkansas. One of the first herbicide-resistant weeds, goosegrass, was confirmed to be resistant to dinitroaniline, or yellow herbicides, in 1989. Since then, numerous weeds have become resistant to various chemistries. Glyphosate-resistant horseweed appeared in 2003 in cotton and soybean fields. Early on, resistant horseweed caused some farmers to destroy cotton in the field because there was no established management strategy. The University of Arkansas weed science team was very busy developing control programs and recommendations to combat herbicide-resistant horseweed. The team has become a leader in the field using more than 1,000 small plots and demonstrations to control the spread of this pest. While the weed science team made strong control recommendations, it was impossible to stop the spread of the pest whose windborne seed can travel more than 200 miles. Within three years, the resistant horseweed spread from the three-county area to the entire crop area of Arkansas. To help farmers manage this pest, the weed science team developed an extensive educational program called Glyphosate Resistant Horseweed, Wanted Dead, Not Alive. Portfolios, literature, CDs and DVDs were distributed at every meeting and the team spread the word on how to slow resistant horseweed and preserve yields. Overall, producers adopted extension strategies on 90% of cropland affected by resistant horseweed. This successful and almost unheard of adoption rate represents a direct impact on one-third of the cotton acres in the state. County extension agents across the state demonstrated the findings. Agents said they had had more calls about resistant weeds than another pest, soybean rust. As soon as the team confirms a weed has resistance, the team immediately establishes plots to determine tools, timing, and techniques to develop controls for resistant weeds. Common ragweed was the next weed confirmed to be resistant to glyphosate. It has only been confirmed in two counties, but the weed science team will monitor its spread. The giant ragweed came next with confirmed resistance, and it has been confirmed in three locations across the state. Johnson grass was once the most troublesome weed in the Mid-South, but a good degree of control was possible with glyphosate-resistant crops. Now glyphosate-resistant Johnson grass has been confirmed in one county and is of great concern. It is being closely monitored while control methods are being developed. Ryegrass has also become a serious problem in the past two years in southern Arkansas. Test plots are being studied for ryegrass control in early burndown programs before planting. The Arkansas Weed Science Team regularly works with researchers from the Mid-South, across the United States, and the world. We hosted a horseweed symposium, the Palmer Amaranth Roundtable, and the Ryegrass Symposium to pull together the best scientists in each of these areas to compile knowledge and develop recommendations. The Weed Science Team has a very aggressive program to monitor the spread and location of glyphosate-resistant ryegrass and has taken 300 samples from around the state. In 2004, the Weed Science Team issued an alert for glyphosate-resistant pigweed. In spring 2006, a resistant variety was found and calls about resistant pigweed began. Control programs were studied, but unfortunately the pigweed has spread rapidly. In 2010, resistant pigweed is confirmed in every crop county in Arkansas. The University of Arkansas weed science team worked with scientists from the University of Warwick in England to determine the amount of time needed for glyphosate resistance to develop. The studies determined that moving the residual herbicide from the end of a weed control program to the beginning reduced the probability that the weeds will become resistant. Using techniques learned from its research, the team was able to transform a field that had 350,000 viable pigweed seeds per acre to an average of less than one pigweed per 10 acres in 2010. The weed science team is very proud of being able to show farmers how clean fields are possible in glyphosate resistant areas. Greater than 70% of all cotton, soybean, and corn acres are devoted to conservation tillage, and less than 5% of cotton and soybean fields in the South receive cultivation for weed control. The glyphosate-resistant crops allow farmers to control weeds without deep tillage, saving 1 billion tons of soil from erosion annually. The weed science team has developed a zero-tolerance program 
where no weed seed production or weed seed escapes are allowed. This program has received national recognition and caught the attention of the National Resource Conservation Service with the hope of reducing tillage and soil loss. The Weed Science Team will continue research and education efforts to determine the best management techniques for resistance. The Weed Science Team is committed to leadership in herbicide resistance in weed management, and the team will continue to help farmers prevent and control herbicide-resistant weeds and is poised to move on to the next issue in herbicide resistance.